please hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you very much. Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about the Minnesota Vikings and their 2021 predictions. Last year the Vikings went 7-9. and nine. A big part of the reason that they were in games were Kirk Cousins, who threw for 4,265 yards, 35 touchdowns, and 13 interceptions. It's hard to believe that this quarterback uh, just consistently produces and people think that he's not a good quarterback. He may not be a superstar quarterback, but he is going to put you in a position to win. At running back, you've got a superstar, Dalvin Cook, the Florida, the floor, the former Florida State Seminole, rushed for 1,557 yards, a 5.0 yards per carry average. He also tacked on 361 catching yards. Number two is Alexander Matison. He had 434 yards and a 4.5 yards per carry. You got Justin Jefferson, 1,400 yards. Last year, in a remarkable season, you've got the stalwart Adam Thielen, who pitched in 925, and they've got K.J. Osborne, a 2020 fifth rounder, to be in the slot. At tight end, they've gone through some change. They don't have Rudolph. They don't have Herb Smith. And last year, they're returning. They're bringing Tyler Conklin, who had only 194 yards last year. And some of the big question marks are around the offensive line, which is frankly struggled the last few years, including a 26th place finish in 2020. The offensive line has a new look this season, and it's a, the ability of this unit to move up the ranking is going to be dependent on two rookies and a second-year player. My take is you don't bet on rookies, um, but it has potential to be a better offensive line. For the defense, Minnesota's defense was uncharacteristically soft last season, especially for a Mike Zimmer-led group. But much of that was due to losses of personnel or circumstances that have changed. For example, Danielle Hunter missed all last season, but in 2019 he had a great season with 80 total pressures. He now teams up with Michael Pierce, who opted out last year, and Dalvin Tomlinson to give Minnesota three new linemen that just weren't there last year. You've also got Patrick Peterson, who's not the player he once was, but could see a revival with other role players that are better and this better defense. At the best, it shouldn't be gashed as badly as it was last year. And because of that, I think that the Vikings are going to turn around a little bit. I think they're going to be a 10-7 and 7 team. 10-11 wins is what I see for the Vikings based on their schedule, based on their offensive firepower, based on the fact that I think their offensive line is going to do a little better, and based on the fact that I think their defense, just from the fact that they don't have so many people out, are going to take a step forward.